I'm Vincent Morissette. I'm from Montreal. I'm the founder of the studio A Toi. That means yours or your turn. I do interactive films. I used to define myself as a web-friendly director. I take advantage of the digital possibilities. I take uh, my, the, my material is often linear footage, but that I transform and give life through interactivity. So the spectator becomes part of, uh, of the piece and transform it uh, over time. When I got into university, there was like three choices, cinema, television, radio. And uh, the year I was, they opened this multimedia program. And I was just very curious because it seemed really open and you were able to learn a bit of everything. So I self-taught myself coding and uh, became this kind of self-taught uh, programmer. In my first uh, professional years, I defined myself as a coder. And over time, uh, that role kind of get transformed. And uh, now I define myself as a director, as someone that kind of brings up a team and uh, make uh, imagined projects. So. For me, like the, the key is to create a context, uh, a good context to make uh, experimentation um, kind of um, shine. Uh, so I always keep my uh, team on the edges so everyone is involved from uh, early on in the process. So I think uh, we're working in a similar way that video game does, but in a more kind of uh, artisanal uh, way, but the idea is really to kind of not get stuck with the techno technological barrier, but having them kind of uh, guide and shape the project. So we're not kind of having a vision and then kind of hitting walls. It's more kind of we're sculpting through around uh, technological uh, limitation, but that's part of a reality. So it's not a frustrating project. We're just kind of constructing around uh, around it. So I, I would say like it's all interween, and I couldn't say if it's 50-50. It's just, just kind of a big, uh, a big ball. It's, it's never the technology, it's all, and it's never even a story. It's, uh, it starts as a, a feeling that I want people to have. Uh, sometimes it's a, it's a mindset or, uh, or a state or just uh, recreating uh, an experience that people have in everyday life. And that's the start, starting point. And then we try to figure out with the uh, available technologies and the tools, how we can uh, make this uh, happen. So, and like we, I'm not, I don't like to look at a crystal ball and say what will be the future. I'm, I'm almost kind of grumpy and suspicious about everything that comes. But for some reason, like, uh, like new, new possibilities kind of uh, organically snap to uh, some uh, concept. And for me, it's really important, like the interactivity uh, uh, needs to be meaningful and it's part of the message. So technology is just a way to, um, to get there. My background in, as a coder made me, I think, uh, more sensitive about how to navigate uh, through this. And also uh, the other thing I, it's, that is really important to us is just to make people forget about that technology and just kind of embrace a project or your universe and just kind of, even if it's the first time that they experience that kind of stuff. For me, it's just a, like a different emotional window. How you engage with the piece is very different. I think you can make comparison with you know classic video game and you know linear movies. But I, I'm kind of blurring a bit the boundaries of of those two things. So I'm using like, like filmic content so that it kind of resonates inconsciently into that that zone in us. In the other side, the interactivity kind of make you kind of get into that playfulness and the, the kind of the, in, your, in your body. So the way that you're connecting to the piece is just, it's just a different feeling. It's not better, it's not worse. It's just kind of a 
different uh, uh, emotional window and I'm, I'm really um, enthusiastic and passionate about exploring uh, these uh, kind of uh, new uh, um, uh, territories. I think being sensitive to code is a key, whatever the platform is, because this aspect will kind of follow you independently of the platform and the language and the canvas. Uh, and then, you know, what you develop, this expertise of interactivity and creating bridge between, uh, you know, a piece and someone can apply, you know, to a headset, to a physical installation with a lot of people together. It's, it's mainly, I think, just to put your hands in it and start modestly, like it can be a bit overwhelming. Like it, it, these projects might often be complex because we're dealing with a lot of component and technological limitation. So starting a kind of a small, but then with result and learning from it and then grow from that um, it, uh, that expertise, I think is, uh, is, uh, is key. Uh, so yes, let, put your hands in it and, and uh, start. And the beauty of it, like a, for me, the web is still kind of a wonderful universal uh, canvas that we take for granted. But still, I cannot figure out why there's no more people taking advantage of a browser capacity because it's fantastic and not a lot of creators take advantage. So I think the younger generation kind of are more sensitive about it and I'm sure there will be a new generation of net art, interactive, amazing stuff that will, uh, that will happen.